Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. Today I'm starting a brand new series where I'll be covering about Angular CRUD tutorial. We will be building a live uh, project or rather I would say we'll be building a feature module in a live e-commerce application. CRUD is an important aspect of any application that you will work upon. Take an example of say a CRM tool, right? It will have create contact, read contact, update contact, and delete contact. Take a case of Gmail, where you will create an email, you can edit an email, you can delete an email, you can update an email, right? So you can take any application that you are, have used in past or you're currently using. CRUD is the basic foundation of any application. We will learn all about it from scratch. I'm sure at the end of this tutorial series, you will be able to master Angular CRUD operations. Hello friends, my name is Sridhar. I am bringing over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I have worked in past in large enterprises on various technology stacks like Angular, Node, Express, MongoDB. I've worked with different cloud um, uh, providers, cloud vendors. So I'm here to share my knowledge with you. I'm also here to learn from you all so during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, just ask me and I'll be happy to help you. I want to give you a personal assurance that at the end of this series, you will master how to write Angular CRUD functionality for features after this series. And I will help you 100%. So make sure that you ask me questions and doubts wherever you are stuck. All right, so I will create a playlist. Uh, it will have a 13 part series uh, where I will share that details and I'll create a playlist and put it in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Again, like I said, we will be covering 13 part series. So you see, this is what we will learn in each of the episode. That way you know exactly how uh, to build a complete feature module. Starting today, today I'll talk about the project and some of the CRUD basics and we will learn this is absolutely for beginners so if you have some experience in angular that will only help you all right so let's talk about the project that we are working upon and the project that we will build in this series so assuming that we are a developer right and i'm starting my job as a developer on a team which is building an e web e-commerce application right the team has already been working on the website for some time now they have an Angular application repo and project setup done. So this is what you would end up in most real time use cases that you will be joining a team which is already working on a project, uh, not necessarily e-commerce, but any application. So I'm trying to mock the actual environment for you so that way you know how to go about building applications. So we have been tasked to develop a new feature called products, right? That's what we will be building in our series. So we will build a feature called products for this particular e-commerce website. And then we will build this products as part of a feature module, which means it's a standalone feature module. It will have its own routes. It will have its own components, services, etc. And feature modules are the most recommended way of building features, right? Because it will allow us to give us the flexibility to uh, use, reuse, etc. So some of the things that we will be building in this particular series. So we will build a product inventory, right? So we will have a product module, which will have its own routes. Product module should support lazy mode loading. We should be able to see all products, that is get all. We should be able to view a specific product, that is a particular ID of a product. We will be able to update the product inventory, and then we will be able to soft delete or delete the product we'll be able to search products by category, right? So these are some of the high level use cases we will build along in this particular series. So make sure you get comfortable with all of this operations. Okay, so last thing before I leave you for this particular starter uh, episode, we'll quickly revise some of the basics. Create, read, update, delete. So for create, we've, it means we are creating a new resource via API and we will use HTTP POST method. We'll use, re, we'll use GET method for reading the data. 
we'll use put method to update and we'll use the HTTP delete method for delete operation. All along, you will be learning about Angular features like routing, components, services, pipes, directives, all of that. So welcome to the journey, friends. See you in the next episode where we actually start coding. We'll start with setting up our APIs with mock data and to start building our products feature module. I hope you will find this useful. I hope you sincerely hope that you will also build along with me. And I'm here if you have any doubts or queries. Thank you so much. Let's get this series started.